Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. We're going to go into this Texas thrift store in San Antonio, Texas. Look for purses and jewelry for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on live buy nows and auctions. Also hit that subscription button and hit the thumbs up for this video. I've got a friend with me who's not experienced in buying purses and jewelry. I am semi-experienced, not totally experienced. And we're going to have a shop off in here, guys. We're going to take two baskets. We're going to look at jewelry and purses. At the end, we don't promise that we buy everything you see in the basket, but we're going to show you the items, and you guys are going to decide who won the little shop off. So I think that'll make it a little bit fun. So guys, we have two empty baskets right now. We're going to have a shop off in here of purses and jewelry. I don't know if they have jewelry. Texas Thrift usually does. We have two empty baskets. We're going to look for purses and jewelry. I'm semi-experienced, my friend has no experience at the end, and we're gonna show you what we what we pecked out, and we're gonna let you peck the winner. So we're not gonna buy everything in the basket, but we're gonna have fun doing that. What's fun about these baskets, guys, is look at that, they have jousting sticks. So at the end, we may have to battle it out if we think there's a tie, but you guys are gonna decide the winner in the comments below. We're gonna go down this aisle real quick though, guys. There's some neat wares on this aisle. So I'm giving my friend a head start to go peck out some purses since I have a little bit more experience. Gonna let them go peck out some purses first. Look at this cute little elephant. Peck out some purses first and then I'll go over there and see what they didn't peck out and see if I can beat them. But you guys in the comments, there went that elephant. That was the elephant in the room. But you guys in the comments below are gonna peck out the winner. So again, it's just going to be a fun little thing. Look at that candle holder there. Look at that. Bloom Right. B-L-O-O-M-R-I-T-E. I have no idea about this one, guys. And I'm sure that's probably something you guys are going to tell me that I should have pecked up. And we say pecked up, guys, if you're new to the channel because of Cece, the costume chicken who is my boss. She likes me to go peck out things. We don't pick out anything. We peck them up. So this is hand painted. So we peck out things for resale on YouTube and eBay. Look at that piggy bank. See, so yeah, I'm giving my friend a head start. Look at this, oh my gosh, are those CC shoes? I don't see the other one. Now this is super cute. Look at this. So I do love decorating with little items like this. So let me show you this up close. I don't know what this brand is. Look how cute that is. Look at that face. I don't know if that's the maker, the designer, or what. Look at that. It's cute. I'm not going to get it. But I like it. And this one right here has a severed head. The head is missing. But I guess you could put something else on there. Maybe make something out of jewels. I'm not sure. That's different. Not sure what used to be there. You have lots of books, lots of bags. I don't see any bling yet. Lots of pots and pans. I love looking at the artwork, if there is any. But yeah, I'm giving my friend a head start. And then we're gonna show you. So everything in the basket that we pack up isn't necessarily gonna be bought. It's not necessarily gonna be bought, but we're gonna go through there and look at the stuff. It's packed up. And you guys will decide on the winner. Made in Portugal. That's a nice dish. Pan. It's $5.98. I love my Le, Le Creuset. You guys know that. That's not Le Creuset. I know that. But I still like to look around. And I love thrifting. And I love working. And I love signs. 
What are these? Not sure what kind of glass that is. That's from an old time pottery, so that's not old. Looks a little bit old and vintage there for a minute. But it obviously is not old time pottery. I think is a great store. So yeah, I'm giving a head start. I don't know if there's any purses over there to be pecked out or not. Don't know if they have any jewelry here. Texas Thrift usually has jewelry. The best purses are usually behind the jewelry counter. So we're gonna go check that out and see. Okay guys, you know I like coffee mugs. I'm not gonna get this one, but look at this one. It's so great. I love that. The coffee mug section's actually on this back side here. I don't know if I'm gonna check it out or not. I don't think so. I guess that's a vintage spoon ladle. Ladle. I wanna get to the Goodwill Boutique before they close. Can I give her to the front, please? Give her to the front. Silhouette candle holder. You guys know I love my, my old shelves. These aren't old, though. Look at this little jewelry box. This cute little box. Look at this. I love that. Oh, it's missing one little spot there. It's beautiful artwork. What is this little guy? 3D. 2D. 3D. Some kind of dimensional. just dropping everything the Grand Canyon I've never been but look at that old souvenir plate that you can hang on the wall I've never ever been to the Grand Canyon before how many get you guys have been there so this store is pretty big guys I'll take you around real quick you can see how big the store is we're gonna try to find the purses I think they may be over here on the wall. Not absolutely certain, but we're gonna go check. So these are not the purses that I thought they would be. So, let's see if we've got anything out here. Don't see anything hanging up over here. Can run through pretty quick. So hopefully we can find something in here so we can actually have a shop off. Not sure what brand this is. If you guys know that label, let me know. I don't know what that label is. This may be leather. But I don't I don't know that. I don't know that brand and I can't open it up because it's locked to see if there's anything on the inside that would tell me. So this is cart number one. So I'm going to turn this. So, so far, basket number one has a fossil in it. Fossil purse. I'm not sure of the other item that's in there. But so far, I am not winning. Because I don't have anything in my basket. Chaps, Ralph Lauren. So again, whether we buy the item or not, you guys are going to decide who wins based on what's in our basket. 
So I've got to find something because right now there's a sack. The sack, because right now I have nothing in my basket. Let's see, does this have anything in it? St. John's Bay. Anna Martina Franco. Yeah, I have nothing, 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 nothing in my basket. And I'm not seeing anything. Tommy Hilfiger. Ooh, is this anything good? Urban Junket. Relic, that's a pretty wallet. So a relic wallet. What is a kitty cat coin? Ooh, look at this. Now this right here I would nearly buy just because I need a new one on my bag, but my bag is not leather. So I'll probably pass on that, but I do need a new um name tag for my luggage what is this this is heavy what is this it's the strangest backpack that i've ever seen it's a hard case. Fake zipper. What's in it? So it's like a lunch box. And behind the counter, I only see one purse, guys. I don't even see many purses at all. So we are probably stuck with the selection on the wall. This is all I've got so far. <laughs> this, I'm gonna blame it on selection, but I need to be a good sport, right? Ooh, uh, this one's gonna do it right here, guys. Look at this. I think I just beat my friend. So look at this, guys. Hobo, vintage hobo. Look at that. You know it's gonna be leather. So I think I just won the contest. I don't know yet, but this doesn't have a price tag on it. And I really might wanna get this because this is a vintage hobo. So yeah, that vintage hobo may have just won the contest. But again, it's up to you guys. No hard feelings. Welcome to Texas Thrift. We're glad you're here. This is Tijanello. I'm sorry, Tenyanello. Tenyanello. In yellow. Tenyanello in yellow. And you won't want to miss our big Memorial Day sale on Monday, May 30th. Yeah, I found a vintage hobo with no price, and I'd like to buy it. So I need somebody to price it for me. I need somebody to price it. Victoria's Secret. They do have some jewelry in here. I saw it. I see it behind the counter. A little bit of jewelry in your life. More tags. Liz Claiborne. Someone try to find that price on that Hobo International. Ooh, uh, look. Look at that, guys. A fossil. So in both my defense and my friends, there are not many purses in here to choose from. So we may be in trouble. That's okay. 
31. Look at this, guys. I found a Groot Hallmark bag of some sort. I don't think this, this is definitely not a purse. I'm not sure what they carried in this. So look at that. Okay, we're gonna try to eyeball the jewelry. This is all they've got. This looks like Betsy Johnson. Look at this bracelet. I don't know what that is, but it's $24.95, so we're not getting that, obviously. Look at that brooch. I might check that one out. I thought those cameos on the back, but they're not. And then you have all these belt buckles. I wonder if this ring is sterling. I don't know. I might want to take a look at that. I can't tell what the price is though. Hold on, let me see. $29 on the price of that ring. So look at this bracelet here, guys. Now this is a beauty. This may be worth waiting in line for and getting somebody over here. I don't know what the price of it is though, but look at that. They're very busy here. So I'm hoping that we can get someone over here To look at some jewelry because there is one bracelet in particular that I want to look at and I love this brooch right here too basketball mom And there's a great brooch too. Look at that one on that <laughs> one. So it's a brooch and a pendant. Ooh. So we're gonna hope we get that hobo bag, guys. They said for me to take it up the front and they'll tell me if they can price it or not. She said she didn't know, but I'm gonna get this sombrero brooch. That's very nice. So this guy's is a bracelet with matching earrings. So look at that. pretty those are some bracelet with matching earrings so I'll take these also it's a Roman brooch this looks to be Mark Sterling on the inside not certain Is it, is it dirty or is, is that the way it is? Uh, I think that's the way it is, just kind of tarnished. It looks like it might be Irish. Oh. See a clover on the side of it. Oh. Let's 
guys look at these beautiful earrings I'll show you the marking on the back look at those lip earrings guys so I believe these are Betsy Johnson based on the back yeah I resell those earrings you just saw guys the two lips are Betsy Johnson oh Betsy she's good I don't see anything in here but one necklace I'm gonna take a look at Let's watch up close. Okay, guys, here are the baskets. So I told you it was going to have a shop off. I don't think we're going to buy anything in this baskets, but you're going to pick out who the you're going to peck out who the winner is. So we're going to call this basket number one with Groot in it. And then this is basket number two. Basket number two has the most purses. So you guys are going to comment below and tell me which basket won based on the brand of the purse in there, the color of the purse, what you would have purchased or anything like that. And no hard fill-ins, but just let us know in the comments below who you think won the shop off of purses. This is the semi-experienced buyer. This is the non-experienced buyer. So I'm going to show you here. We've got Groot. A little itty bitty tiny thing. We have a relic wallet that's hooked, 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 hooked. Hold on. We have a relic wallet. So this basket number one has four items. We have this fossil crossbody bag. And you guys just comment basket one or basket two. Basket one again has Groot. A fossil crossbody, a relic, and a hobo, vintage hobo crossbody. So basket number one, that's basket number one. This hobo might be purchased if they'll put a price on it. I don't know that they'll price it at the front. I don't know if they'll price this for me at the front or not. So this is a hobo crossbody handbag, maybe a computer bag, and hopefully you can hear me over all this. So... So this hobo bag is vintage. It looks vintage. Computer bag. You have your place to hold your pens. Place for business cards. You could still use it today. I'm hoping that they will give me a price on it. I've looked throughout and there's not a price at all. So it's Hobo International. So this is old. It is vintage. So that's basket number one. Relic fossil. This little guy and then this one basket number two so you guys comment below of basket one or basket two this is a Liz Claiborne shoulder bag so we're basing it kind of on brand and quality this here is a fossil so basket number two has a fossil in it look at that Looks to be a vintage fossil. Shoulder bag, good condition. Price on this fossil is $12.91. So that's basket number two. Has a Liz Claiborne, a fossil. Let's see what this is. Looks like faux ostrich. This is a brand by Morona, which is Target. Looks to be in new condition. Retail price at Target is $27. And then the final bag in bag or shop uh, shopping cart number two is I think a no name brand. So this bag has no brand name on it. 
So that's basket number two, guys. So you comment below whether basket one wins or basket two. Basket one fossil, relic, grouped, and hobo international vintage computer bag. Basket number two. Shoulder bag hero tote. Faux ostrich. Liz Claiborne, and then this great fossil. So you got this great fossil bag right here that's vintage. So guys, until next time, we will see you guys later. Y'all comment below which basket wins, basket one or two.